I really like uh, many of the things that uh, Grudem has to say in his systematic theology about the nature of faith and repentance. It's beneficial to me. They've helped me uh, have a clear understanding of those dynamics in faith and repentance. And he lists several elements in saving faith. First thing is an understanding of the truth. That means we understand the facts of the gospel. We understand that God is holy and just and loving. We are sinful and guilty and cannot save ourselves. Jesus is the only one who can save us. And it's, a, it's an understanding of that that has, that's basic. Faith starts with understanding. Then the second element is uh, conviction. Uh, it's, it's an agreement with the facts of the gospel. That is deeper than just saying, yeah, I believe that. It's being able to say, I'm sure that that's the way reality is. And then the last element is, is trust. We trust Jesus with our life. We trust him to change our lives. And so there has to be a movement in this process. We normally start by beginning to understand the gospel. Then we become convinced that the gospel is true. Uh, and this leads us to trust our lives. Now, it's not just believing the facts or knowing the facts. It's not just even knowing the facts and believing they're true. But those two things have to drive us or bring us, lead us to that point to where we personally reach out to Jesus. But so in relation to that first part, that understanding, there's two subparts. There's knowledge and there's understanding or comprehension. Colossians 1 6 says, This news, this gospel, is being, uh, spread out, is being transmitted, uh, and it's bringing fruit all over the world. Like it did when you first heard it and understood the truth. So they heard it. There was knowledge. And they understood it. R.C. Sproul said, even though the right understanding of the basic evangelical truths is extremely important That by itself is not enough to bring salvation. We have to know, we have to understand, but we can't just know but we have to have a deeper understanding, but it needs to drive us further. It has to be that deep conviction, that deep agreement, that deep certainty that this is right. It said that when you heard this word, 
it brings fruit in the lives of people. As it was said about the Thessalonians, they received the word that Paul preached as the word of God. Erickson translates the idea of faith in the following way. The general meaning of to believe means to believe that which is said. To accept an assertion, especially an assertion of a religious sort, Saving faith always includes agreement with the truth presented. If the person can describe all the facts of the gospel but doesn't believe any of them, they don't want to once watching a film. He went out on the street, um, I think it was in St. Petersburg, and did an interview right before Easter. Uh, in, the, in the film? Uh, yeah, this, it was all, the film was a bunch of interviews. And they would walk up to the camera and they say, what does this mean? And they got a lot of interesting answers. They got to one woman, and she knew everything about Easter. She said, well, let's start with Jewish Easter. Passover. And she explained in great detail Passover, how it started, why it started, and what was the Bible you could read about it. And then she explained how the, the, the how the celebration of Passover had changed through the years among the Jews. Uh, um, in the life of Jesus and the Lord, the last supper he had with them. Then she explained how Easter began to be celebrated instead of Passover among Christians. And she explained how they determined the date of Easter. All this information. The person doing the interview <laughs> said, that's all very nice. But what does Easter mean to you? And she said, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Means nothing to me. I don't even do the coloring of the eggs. I don't do any of the traditions. It's just another day to me. She knew all the facts. She didn't believe me in the facts. So people have to come to that point where they really <laughs> are agreeing <laughs> with it. And it becomes a deeper agreement. And that person is convinced of the truth of what's being said. And that life is really this way. Hebrews 11, 6 points out this in relation to faith. Everyone who comes to him must believe that he is and that he rewards those who seek him. Nobody's going to come to God if they're not convinced that he exists and it will be worth it to seek him out. Erickson said, faith includes in itself a deep conviction of the truth of what's being said. Prahana said, saving faith is that faith which accepts the truth of the revelation of God. 
about what can save a person. Նրա մասին թե ինչը կարող է ստեղծել մարդը։ Սկսումը գիտությունից։ Goes to agreement with those facts. Դնում է այդ փաստերի եւ հասկացողության հետ այդ փաստը։ Becomes a deeper conviction. Դառնում է ավելի խորը համոզվածություն, ինքն այո սա ճիշտ է։ But then it gets to the point where you guys and get it, որ դա որ դու պետք է ունենաս վստահություն։ At this point when we're talking about աստաղ երբ խոսում ենք մենք understanding հասկացողություն agreeing with it համաձայնվել being convinced of it վստահ լինել դրանում so far people believe in something դեր մարդիկ հավատ ինչով այս գետը մարդիկ դեր հավատում են ինչ որ բանի but to believe in someone բայց ինչ որ մեկին հիսուսին այստեղ they have to believe in something դրանք այդ քեզ սկսում հավատալ ինչ որ մի բանի։ And some people will say no I just want to trust Jesus. Ինչ որ մարդիկ ասեն է չէ ես այդ կեզ ունեմ Հիսուսին վստահել։ Just need to call people to have blind faith. Մենք պետք է մարդկանց կան չենք որ ունենան ույր հավատ։ Ցա։ Yeah, okay. You back to your wall again. Լավ քո պապին անդրադառնանք էլի։ Your guy believes in something. at the mart havat mein shorbani he believes that there's power in that wall to help him in his life so at patya in chor zorutyun ni iren oktelu ira kyank pokhelu but he so far doesn't believe in someone but der in chor mekin chi havatu on the other side yes go me we can assume we karon ke thad der bro has a friend osrevan keruni that's not amazing he's a nice guy he has friends uh love the guy anket neruni So we can believe that, right? Darho ink khavatal dera. He has a friend, Benkeru Nix. And his friend says, "I believe in God." Benkeru asma yes khavatum en vastso. Isn't that nice? Lavchi. No. No. Oh. It, it, it doesn't matter what kind of God he believes. Lavchi inch tipi ar. Long he believes in God, right? Ali dar ink khavatum en vastso nche. I and mean, it should believe actually ah. for the beginning you have to believe in everybody who says i believe in god amenka ovasun ora savatum em asun believes in some kind of god inch ora asu havatum em but may not but may not believe in the god who exists but me go sa chavatan ayn asun over goitsun oni because they're all assuming god is like this but we think bolor yentadrum em vor astvats espisin e Uh, I believe it was J.F. Packer that said. That's when J.F. Packer met for us. Oh, I said that. Many people, Chapnatik, will die one day. Mahana Mirad, and their whole life they believed in a particular God. It ends on both the young community and the world. Shaky as soon how it ends. Then after death, if Mahit said that, they will meet the real God who is Kahan Dipen Irakan as soon. and they realize the god i believe in all these years but years, i know that on as ambosh tarneri entaskum havatatselam is not the god who exists i in astvas chev goytsununi i believed in a god that i had made up yes havatatselam i know sunum yes am horinal but i didn't believe in the god who is but chem havatatselam i know sunum so there always some content i think i nicht kein short point bring a person of faith ինչոր մարդուն հավատքի բեր է have to believe that they are sinners դրանք պետք է հավատան որ մեղավոր է որ աստված կարող է փրկել իրենց and that jesus will save them if they ask հիսուսը կփրկի իրենց եթե նրանք խնդրեն but then it comes at a point where they have to not just believe in something բայց մի կետ է գալիս որ ոչ մի ինչոր բանի պետք է հավատան they believe in someone i know ինչոր մեկի it becomes trust of a person ցինքն վստահություն ինչ որ մեկի վրա Romans 10:11 Ռոմեացիների 10:11 Scripture saying those who believe in him ովքեր հավատում են նրան not be ashamed չեն ամոթով չեն մնում but everyone who calls his name the name of the lord Ամեն մեկը ով գնչի իրոջ անունը կփրկվի personal belief in Jesus անձնական հավատքի Հիսուսին անձնական վստահություն It has real faith as RC Sproul put it. Uh Irakan havat kanch vas RC Sproul ne asu. Has both a cognitive aspect or a only drama banakan aspect. And yeah 
has a element of choice in it. Ունի ընտրության մասնիկ իր մեջ։ People have to choose to trust Jesus. Okay, Հարշը, Հարշը ես մեջ։ Saving faith, as Prohan put it, is the faith that has complete trust in Christ as Lord and my personal Savior. Real faith stimulates, motivates a person to trust Jesus. And it also involves accepting. Those who received him, those who believed in his name, he gave the power to be the sons of God. John 1. John 1. In the doctrinal statement of the denomination that I'm from, Southern Baptist. Harafain Baptist, Neri Vorta, it's Neri Asam Galis, Mech, Havatu Hankanakum. It says that faith is the accepting of Jesus Christ Havatka, Jesus Christ, or Sinan Tumet. And the commitment of my, of your personality to him. Kiev Ko Anata Kanutsun and Zidela, Neran, Vorpes, Teria Perkich. So it starts with knowledge, moves on to conviction, becomes even deeper where that person is really sure that this is right. And that moves the person to reach out to Jesus and make a personal commitment. Why do we talk about all this? If real faith is like that, if real faith involves understanding, how should that impact our evangelism? I want it to be prepared to that, like long potential of a long relationship with that person. And also, well, we should understand the details of our faith ourselves. And so we should be able to teach that person so that they understand what is it that they need to believe in. Mm -hmm. So that they don't have a uh, blind faith. Okay. Okay. We had a rabbi come to uh, the Baptist University that I was attending years and years ago. And And we would have a, a worship service once a week, chapel, they called it. Uh, yeah. And he got up and said, I want to talk to you about faith today. Uh, this is going to be interesting. But he wasn't a really orthodox Jew. He was a more liberal Jewish rabbi. And he said, I have faith. Yes, You have faith. Muslims have faith. Buddhists have faith. Hindus have faith. So we're brothers. You believe in Jesus? I don't believe in Jesus. But I believe in the Torah. But you have faith and I have faith, so we're brothers. So from his perspective, if that's not your needs. The power of faith was not in the object of your faith. But in the faith itself. Everybody's a believer. You live in the oldest Christian country on the planet. Everybody has faith. In something or someone. But that doesn't mean all these types of faith are identical. 
there has to be a content. It's not a blind thing. Okay, we, we shared the content with the person. Love, I don't But the person doesn't seem very convinced. But I don't know how much what's she told. So should we still go ahead and say, would you like to commit your heart to Christ today? Are they maybe a little early? Earlier in my life, I thought that I need to dump everything at once, but now I don't do it. I, uh, I expect, like, like I wait until God brings interest into in that person. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what if a person, oh, he, we've told him all about Jesus or her, and that person totally agrees with us. Yep, yep, he's the son of God. He died on the cross, rose from the dead. He's the only savior. Is that person saved? Okay. Cannot really okay. I cannot make that conclusion. Not yeah, no, yes, no, no. Okay. He could person could be saved. And he could just be intellectually in a It's one teacher of apologetics said, be careful when you're using apologetics. Because your goal is not just to get people to agree with your position. But to personally commit to Jesus. He also said, be careful because your goal is not just to win the argument. But to win the heart of the person with him. Okay, we've got our person. They're convinced. They're becoming more and more convinced of the truth of the gospel. Of Avali of Avali shot that was the Avatani Jeshma Putsiana. When you say, okay, have you committed your heart to Christ? You feel like you brought that to a culmination. Uh, I remember when I asked a man at one time years and years ago when I was a pastor. His name was Jeff. Uh, Jeff, I don't know if yet. We had gone out out to uh, to our church for a little bit. Yeah, it was so funny, his response. Oh, you know, last Sunday you, you told us that we could just go to God in prayer and express that that we wanted to make that commitment to Him. I think I did yeah. it, but I'm not sure if I got it right. Oh, we were on the church parking lot talking. He said, "If you got time, could we just?" Go into the church building, make sure I did that right. He said, I think this is what I need to do. Help me do it right. He had already, he was saved, but I led him to the process again. He could get our confidence in that he he stands up. He's the only person who's ever said this right after they got saved to me. Yeah. He said, okay. You guys, my, his wife and children have been coming to church for a while. Right after he's prayed, made sure the last step is done. He said, how do I give my tithe? 
because you've been paying for my family all these years and I'm no bone. I want paying? to pay. I, you've been taking care of my family. You've been uh, spending your that? money on my family. And I'm no bone. Uh, bone. Uh, 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 I'm, uh, uh, I, I, I'm a person that, that uh, I, I believe in this. I want to invest. Yes. How about my son? And I thought, I'm pretty sure he's saved. Yes. <laughs> David would like to see that happen more and more in your church. Okay. Let's talk a little bit in our last few minutes here about repentance. That's what I'm going to say. Repentance. Uh, the basic uh, meaning of repentance is, for me, is a change in the way you think, change mm -hmm. of thinking, that produces a change of direction. Uh, one very small systematic theology described repentance in this way. Repentance is the internal recognition of my sinfulness before God. Internal recognition of my sinfulness before God. And the decision to leave my sinful life and start a new life with Jesus. It is the internal turning around of the entire being of a person. It is the conscious turning from the broad way to the narrow way of salvation. So it is an internal turning, it's an internal change of the whole Real repentance involves all of us. It involves the mind, the emotions, and the will. Uh, in Luke, when he has the parable of the lost son, there are some key phrases in what happens in that person's life. Yes. And beginning in verse 17, uh, would somebody like to read verses 17 to 21? Of <laughs> in this passage, this is the the key moment when the son decides to return home. So Gilhavor Fanny Yet for voting Voroshumaka Sumpum Vera Garnalis. 
Where do you see a change in his thinking? Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he came to his senses. He realized, what am I doing? Okay. Anywhere else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he came to his senses and understood that he has sinned. Ah, okay. Okay. So, the page of mine uh, brought to realization that he is a sinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he, he, in his change of mind, he realized this is a horrible place and I don't have to stay here. Yeah. He also... I created this problem myself. Do you see any element of a, of a, cho a choice or a decision in this? Oh, uh, 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 yes, when he says, uh, let me get up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And go to my father. Okay. Mm -hmm. And confess. Uh -huh. Okay. He's got to confess before his father that he had sinned. So it's it's more than just an emotional reaction here. I think Although I think in this coming to himself and seeing where he is, there are emotions. Kind of, they're not explicitly said, but they're implicitly uh, present. This place is bad. I don't want to stay here. I don't have to stay here. But the dominant portions of it are basically the mind and the choice. Now, why do I emphasize that? Some people, when they think of repentance, it's all about crying. crime. About crying. Crying. It's all about emotions. Okay. Oh, if I emotions. if it's if it's all just emotions, it may not be real repentance. It may be you know. Judas regretted betraying Jesus. He saw sin not Neluhamar. But he didn't repent. But it's not Chapash Haretz. He was overcome by sorrow. No, it was tough to argue. By emotions. Scott Spunkov. And he went out and hung himself. And the emotions can drive us to make a decision, but. Yeah, because I am. I have sinned against God. Yes, And I've done this to myself. Yes, yes. But I don't have to stay here. But bed apart of the rest of the turning of the whole person. I think as I'm both not who should be in that turning. There is the I search for the match awareness, the recognition of sinfulness. Uh, it's interesting on the day of Pentecost and Peter's preaching, Acts 2, verse 36, says that God is, has made this one that you crucified, Lord and Christ. But he looks at them and says, and then suddenly their hearts, there's a deep pain in their heart. They realize, we did it. We did it. We did it. What do I do? 
Paul in talking about how things changed in the church in Corinth. He's not talking about their original repentance. He's how they changed and repented in the way they were dealing with the bad situation. And he says that this, this sorrow that you had, it brought you to repentance. And he said there's a sorrow from God, and the sorrow from God does not bring about any bad things. And there's a from the world or regret that only produces death. There's a difference between God's conviction and Satan's activities. Satan can draw our attention to the bad things we've done. Satan can draw our attention to the bad things we've done. In that process, he attacks our person. You're a bad person. But Ed Gordon talked to me about Anthony, Anthony Rehart, about Marcus. I was talking about him specifically. You have done these bad things. Do our lessons, blood banner. Stop it. That hurts you. Oh. And the purpose of Satan's activity. Satan is Satan. The purpose of Satan is regret. No, the purpose of Satan is to wish to be absent. When we're talking about people coming to repentance, we we don't want to see them just say, "Oh, I'm a bad person. I'm a bad person." We want them to come to the point where they go, "When I have done this and this and this and this, I am going to be bad." And I want them to come to the point where they go, "When I have done this and this and this and this, I am going to be bad." And I want them to come to the point where they go, "When I have done this and this and this and this, I am going to be bad." And I want them to come to the point where they go, "When I have done this and this and this and this, I am going to be bad." And I want them to come to the point where they go, "When I have done this and this and this and this, if you don't see yourself as a sinner, you'll never yeah. see the Savior. Do chest as some case of us may have or your pack chest country per chi. Rahana from talking about this said Rahana Vaho Selev Seramasi has seen it. Is expressed in the following ways. Rapash Horatuna had the very great bed of Arta Itum. Mech get up to low. In recognition of the guilt that goes with that sin, and in recognition of the fact that I can't do anything to overcome this. In another uh, summary of the faith uh, of the doctrines of the church, it says that this repentance includes a sorrow over this sin and a, and a confession of it before God. But even the word confession, 1 John 1, 9, faithful and just forgive us. The word to confess does not just mean to list. It means to think, it literally means to say the same thing as God. To confess our sins means that we see them as all. Now, in one church in Kiev, we explained to her with the pastor, okay, you need to admit your sins before God, ask him to forgive you, ask him to help you follow Jesus and commit the heart to you. And we proposed to her to pray in her own words. And she started listing every sin she had committed the past several months. And this lady had had a very interesting life. And we had to stop her and go, what is it? 
We're not Catholic priests or Orthodox priests. This is not confession in the sense of list all your sins and then, you know, this is about submitting your will to his will. It's about committing to live by a new question, not what do I want, but what do you want? She said, oh, I don't want to do that. I just wanted to list all my sins and then get forgiven. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, we can't have it. But it was funny. So we have to recognize our guilt. We have to come to the point where it's not yeah. no longer attractive as long as sin is more attractive than obedience to God yeah. really yeah. but this recognition of the sin the sorrow of the sin brings a person to the point of being willing and wanting to leave that to follow Jesus. So, my man, I'm here. But can you follow him? Anybody who comes to me, yes, I can follow him. Second Corinthians five fifty. Yet, God, 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 as it is put by one person, part of repentance is the desire to receive forgiveness and that you have received forgiveness from you. It's about accepting Jesus as your personal Savior. And you can follow him. You can follow him. You can follow him. You can follow him. So repentance has many, many different layers. I encourage you to think about some of those different uh, uh, How well do they understand that? They realize they're a sinner. They're willing to turn from that sin. They really want to follow Jesus. They're ready to start a new life with Jesus. And keep those things in mind as you work with them. And on that, we're going to finish our answer. And I'm not going to repent of that decision. <laughs> Who would like to pray for us? Of course, I would call over the answer. I Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>